Jackson's identified the seventh symbol. That's Egyptologist James Spader on the trail of a key to interplanetary travel in Stargate, a big, wobbly, wooden, old-fashioned science fiction piece, sort of lumbering, oafish, bloated adventure story we got 15 years ago in the backwash of the success of Star Wars. The story this time, there's been a discovery of an ancient stone carving that allows travel through space. In short order, Spader and a government security advisor, played by Kurt Russell, are preparing to explore a distant planet with a strange connection to ancient Egypt. the new planet, Spader is mistaken for a god. Wow, what a cliched scene. But the biggest disappointment and the biggest hoot in Stargate occurs when the leader of the planet, an alien masquerading as the sun god Ra, changes into human form. And guess who it is? You're not going to believe this. Jay Davidson from The Crying Game. <laughs> Eventually, there's a battle as the Earthlings prepare to leave the planet. Stargate reportedly was a very expensive film to make. I can't see it on the screen. What a waste. Here they find a gate that's going to allow them to travel, quote, to the other end of the known universe. Right. And so with about a week's preparation, some scientist who was a complete nut who nobody in his profession will listen to hooks up with six or seven guys with automatic machine guns and Kurt Russell and they walk through the Stargate. That would certainly be the way we would mount an expedition to the other side of the universe, right? And when we get there, what when are we, we going to do? There. We're going to shoot everybody. And I mean, meanwhile, nobody I mean. asks Spader. Spader says, oh yeah, I know how to get us back. And then they get to the other side without anybody having asked, well, how do you know how to get us back? Oh, I mean, getting back in time travel and space travel is always, always a big, yeah, uh, always right. badly handled in the movies. But if they went there, yeah. and if something were magical, couldn't something you go to the other side of the universe to have a gunfight? There you go. Amazing. Do Amazing. you know that the budget supposedly in this picture was fifty-five million dollars? Boy, they must have had some great lunches. When we come back, Linda Fiore.